Hi, Alto Sax is Barry Sax's seventh graders. Uh, this is Mr. Y with a little tutorial on the E flat concert scale. Uh, that's your C scale, of course. Uh, we're just going to do number one and two for now, and then we'll get to three and four later on. But number one and two, you can see for uh, you the E flat scale is the C scale. So we're going to start in that low C. Unfortunately, I don't have a sax here today to show you, but the C you remember is three fingers up on top on your left hand, three fingers on the bottom with your right hand, plus that bottom pinky key on your right hand. That's the low C key. Okay. So if you hit all three fingers here, three fingers here, plus your bottom pinky key, that's going to be the low C. Remember, if you have trouble getting some of these low notes out, a couple of tips. Number one, drop your jaw. Okay, Kind of like you're yawning in class, but you don't want your teacher to know. You're going to drop your jaw a little bit, really loosen your, uh, keep your lips nice and tight together, of course, but you're going to drop your jaw to make the, the, the cavity inside your mouth bigger is what it amounts to, really. There's more resonance there then. Okay, so number one, drop your jaw. Number two, take a little teeny bit more mouthpiece into your mouth. That'll help. And of course, you got to have lots of air, too, for the low notes. Uh, but if you get that low C, after that, the, the scale is really easy. You've got no sharps and no flats in your key signature, so just watch out for your F natural. You are going to play F natural, not F sharp. Okay, so make sure it's first finger for the F. But check it out. You've got low C, then D, then E, then F natural. Okay, again, your first finger, not your second finger for F sharp. Uh, then G, and A, and B, and then high C. So it's not really a hard scale in terms of your fingers. Uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, E, G, C, G, E, C, B, C. We do have that low B there, the second, uh, second note from the end. Um, I did put a note down on the bottom of the scale sheet here. Remember what this is. If you look down at the bottom, you'll see low B, six big fingers like the low C, okay? The same six big fingers we just had plus the bottom right hand pinky key, that's the low C, plus you're going to add on your left hand the inside pinky key. Remember, there's kind of four keys on that uh, that stack over there on your left hand. Okay, You're going to want to have the inside one, not the bottom one, not the top one. The top one's the G sharp key, the bottom one's the B flat key. Okay, The outside one is the C sharp key, but the inside one, the one toward the saxophone, Okay, as you look at it, the closest one of the saxophone, body of the saxophone, that's the one you're going to want for the uh, B, low B. Okay, that's what that's all about. I'll put a little chart on here to show you. But also, the, there's, like I said, there's an explanation on the scale sheet if you're looking at the scale sheet. Okay, or of course, look in the back of your EE book. There is a little diagram there. There's a fingering chart there, and that probably has a diagram that you'll understand too. Okay, and then number two is just the same scale, the C scale. Sax is going up and down. Uh, it's got the same B natural, the second to last note from the end. Uh, this time, though, it's in six eighths. You've got basically triplets in six eight time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or actually more uh, more properly counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, D, C. Goes up one higher note to the D, of course, but you know that. And then back on the way down, C, B, A, B, A, G, A, G, F, da, 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 it's D, C, B natural, C. So for D, it's just your big fingers. For the C, you add that bottom pinky key. For the B, you add the inside pinky key again. Remember, the inside one in that stack uh, on your left hand. Then to get back to the C, you just pick that one back up. Okay, so there's a little pinky work involved in this one, but nothing too serious. And again, drop your jaw, take a little bit more mouthpiece in to get those low notes, okay? Good luck with it.